What's up, guys? Ross here from Consolidata. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add statistics on your website in real time like what you see here. Uh, these numbers that are listed on here are actually live. And if more leads come in, it's going to update the leads in real time on here. If more contacts come in, more sales, etc. You'll see sometimes clients or uh, agencies or different companies will post these, but they're not usually real time. They're usually just like updated every few months. What this allows you to do is let's say on your web website, you want to see like we generated this many leads for our clients this week and have that kind of widget in here. So I'm going to show you how you can do this using Consolidata, a funnel builder and an iframe tool. So in Consolidata, I'm going to just go ahead. This is actually the dashboard that is hosting what you just saw. But there's a few things that I did to make this work well. So first things first is that I actually removed this timer view from the public view one. And the way that you do that is up here under dashboard settings, you can hide your date range, not a timer. And then I saved it also. You're going to want to save the date range that you want displayed up on the screen. Uh, the other thing that I did was over here, I um, made my height a little bit more narrow. So that way the iframe wouldn't quite be as bulky. And I also moved it as high up as I could possibly go with the spacing. So I took the margin all the way to the top and at the bottom. And what that does is that gives you this share link that if you were to look at it um, just in its own um in its own frame, it looks like this. So now what we're going to do is take this and we go and we go to an iframe generator. This one here is just iframe-generator.com. We'll actually in the future just be giving you it in an iframe, but right now we don't have that set up. You're going to put your URL here, and then I'm going to actually change my width on this to um, 1200. I could probably stand to shrink the height if I wanted to. And let's just preview and see what that would look like. So that would look like this. Um, let's see what it looks like if I shrink it just a little bit more. No, see that cuts it off and now it goes like this. I like this because it didn't scroll. So we're gonna do this and keep it at 300 and then I'm gonna hit generate. So now I copy this link and I need to go to my funnel builder. So here I am in my funnel builder and I need to add a section. We'll go with a full width section and I'm gonna grab a column like this. And if you go over here to this custom J, uh, JS HTML, the JavaScript here, or I can go ahead and grab that, clone this, put this in, and then I'm gonna just save this, yes. Now, just so that way here for our, our view here, it looks better. I'm gonna go ahead and make my background on this black. But now if I save this and I preview it, what I've done is I've actually put it in here. Now, I don't know if it's going to flash like that every single time, but it doesn't stay there long. Um, and so you can see that now it's actually baked right into a page. I mean, most pages, when they first load, images are still populating and loading. So that's not going to be a, a big deal anyways. But you see how fast it moves here. So now you can put this right on your own page. Um, I just think it's a neat thing that people could utilize. They could put a single counter on there. You could put a sales counter on there. But it's just another way that you can do this, get your stats into here. Now, another thing that I want to show you is that Sometimes people will create a member site for a customer and it's a custom member site. Uh, like I'll give you an example. I have a customer where I helped him design his SOPs. And when a staff gets into that member site, they go through the SOPs. Well, if you wanted to put like a sales board or a leaderboard in there, you would use the same method. You just iframe the share link and then you can put that right into any web page that you want. So hopefully this gives you guys some ideas as to how you can uh, use Consolidata for more than just tracking your own metrics, but also use it for social proof, et cetera. You guys have an awesome day.